Hey folks, my name is Ed Trevers. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm an Anglican priest serving in the beautiful parish of St. Margaret of Scotland that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Go away. I want to show you some pictures. Now, I took these pictures with my camera, the camera that's on my phone. And uh, the quality may be a little bit grainy, maybe it's not the best quality, but it certainly, it, it wasn't a professional photographer that took these pictures. These pictures are images that are painted on the sides of buildings in a neighborhood here in Halifax called Mulgrave Park. Now, you know I'm new to the city. I haven't really explored the North End all that much, but my wife, she's been out, she's been walking around, and she's been taking the kids here and there, and they've been checking things out. And one day, last week, she wanted to show me this neighborhood that she found. It's a series of apartment buildings, all the same just sort of lined up differently in different locations throughout this complex. There's a playground, there's trails, nice beautiful hills, and these images, these paintings, this artwork. And it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is inspired. It's wonderful. It shares something to the world about the people who live there, the people who call this their home. It shares something to them. It is work of encouragement. It's work of affirmation and validation. It's work of thanksgiving, remembrance. As I looked at these images, I just, I couldn't help but be in awe because I didn't expect to find myself in the middle of such a beautiful collection of work. I have no idea who painted them. I have no idea if it's one person or if it's a dozen people. It doesn't matter. For a few minutes, as I walked around those apartment buildings, I was in an art gallery a gorgeous, creative, inspired art gallery. It's been reminding me ever since that I don't necessarily always see God where I expect to see God. You know, we have expectations that when we open the Bible, we should have an encounter with God. And, and I think that's a valid expectation. And we can sometimes have an expectation that when we go to church, we should have an encounter with God. And I think that's a, that's a valid expectation. That when we sit at the feet of certain teachers, certain godly teachers, we have an expectation of an encounter with God. And, and I think that's a valid expectation when we surround ourselves with, with people, with the children of God, to learn about God, to share our experiences with God, to share our theology. That there's a, a certain expectation that we should have an encounter with God. And again, yes, I think that's, that's true. But there are so many other places where we might have an encounter with the divine. Some of you will say, well, my, I have my encounters with God when I'm in the woods, when I'm on the water, when I'm in the desert, when I'm walking through the fields or walking through a park. I have my encounter with God when I'm around happy children. I have my encounters with God when, when I'm singing when I'm dancing, when I'm composing, when I'm writing. But God is everywhere. And the practice for us, a practice for us, is to keep our eyes and our ears and our hearts opened to that presence, to feel the energy of the Creator around us, above us, below us, beside us, within us. 
It doesn't matter how loud it is. It doesn't matter how obnoxious the area may be for our senses. It doesn't matter how uncomfortable the moment, the surroundings, the environment may be. God is there. It doesn't matter how harsh God is there. It doesn't even, it doesn't even matter what the conversation is about. God is there. It doesn't matter who we're speaking to, whether they're friend or foe. God can be found there. We can see God in, in people's validation and appreciation of us. We can find God in their critique. We can find God when they point out our flaws. We can find God when people shower us with love and we can find God when people give us the cold shoulder. Even in those moments that lead us to intense grief or anger. Just like those moments of joy, we can find God. The practice for us is to see the divine in everyone, everywhere, all the time. Because if we can do that, then we can experience the energy that God shares in our lives, the creativity, the calm, the peace, the joy, the inspiration. We can hear God speak to us lovingly Regardless of the words or the tone that's being shared with us, we can hear God offer us inspiration and vision. We can hear God call us home. If you're ever in Halifax, please check out Mulgrave Park. The artwork is beautiful. No matter where you are today, I would encourage you to walk with your senses open, to experience this day in such a way that you can, in such a way that you can be aware of God's divine presence, wherever you may find yourself. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that God will be present to you today. And I pray that God will be present to you today in such a way that it is absolutely indisputable in such a way that you can't possibly miss it. So that you can feel the life and the love and the energy that God provides to us to move through this time. Amen. Namultus.